be wary, wary, quiet. I'm hunting creepers. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm out uh, hunting creepers so I can have my own uh, gunpowder spawner, basically. Oh, what's got me here? It's a uh, bit of an issue making sure I only use up the damage value on this sword on creepers. Because they break so quickly. The sword, not the creepers. And it gives me like times five count on the uh, the soul shard, which is very much the bit that I'm trying to do, not kill monsters. I don't care about the monsters. They can go swivel as far as I'm concerned. Oh, did I? Oh, there it is. Whoa. So I'm already up to uh, 819 I just saw there. Um, that's a tier four. Tier four could could potentially be good enough. But I want a tier 5, because I want it to be redstone operated, which means 1,024 kills. Yeah, bit of a way to go there. On the plus side, my disc collection has gone up. Um, whenever I've been able to, I've been uh, pushing creepers into skeletons. So that's been fun. Uh, and now I need to go repair this sword, because it's nearly done for. Um, which involves making corrupted ingots and standing outside my XP farm. So I'll uh, see you in a bit. <laughs> Watchable burn. Oh, th this one's hardcore. Sun resistant or something. There we go. <laughs> nice. Hey guys, welcome to the XP spawner. I thought you might like to see what I've set up here. Um, it turns out that you can grab uh, spawners with the gravity gun. Um, I literally had an orgasm on the spot when I found out that, that, um, that little factoid there. So I've got them just sat nice oh oh that was that was a nice little bit of spike there uh, I've got them sat uh, on top of a water trap that pushes them down into there round a nice little u-bend down there up and into this turtle who uh, happily just attacks for me every like second or so um, and at the same time I've got this I've been working on a jukebox program because you know that there is the, the, the DJ program that comes with uh, computers straight away, but you can only play one disc, it doesn't know when to play the next one, you, you've got to be running about all the time. So yeah, I wrote this, um, and I'm expanding upon it, because I did only have these discs. But obviously now that I've uh, gone and killed all those creepers and got skeletons and, and, and stuff like this I need to expand it so uh, yeah there, there we go I, I just thought you might like to see what I've been doing corrupted ingot making and that's my sword repaired only took half my ingots which is a bit of a hit to be fair um, uh, they weren't easy to do and almost all my experience you notice there that I've got a few levels left that's because I was hoping to combine it with a book of unbreaking but um yeah, I, I didn't have the book, it turned out. <laughs> so, uh, right, back to hunting creepers. And once this night is over, I will meet you over there to explain my next project. Right, well, that was a good night's hunting. I'll probably about do for now. Uh, and gone up by another 110 or so. Obviously I didn't go up 110 kills. Um, I've got the, the, the multiplication thing. Uh, what is it, Soul Stealer. Uh, but yeah, uh, my, my next project has all to do with these guys. So I was watching uh, Direwolf last night uh, but, and he told me he got, got this design off someone else. But I saw this infinite uh, villager breeder, which was good. He was using it to get Miscraft villagers and yeah, that, 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 that's, that's all good I suppose, but uh, I don't know about you, but I think zombie baby villagers are fucking cute as hell. So, um, why don't we see if we can make a machine that can make those? Yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you when I thought a little bit about it. Okay guys, well, I've hacked a real rough thing together. I've made it so these doors up here are pretty much the only village. I've taken all the other doors off. Uh, and we're now going to pop... Uh, Phil here, Phil is my brave test subject, in through there and lock him in. Now, hopefully, oh wait, I'm not going to be able to 
get through there I've put a seal on it to uh, save Phil's life of course now hopefully that embarking track embarking embarking yeah whatever the note word is will pick him up um, though I appear to have just pushed him in the side ah really um, I don't even have my cro uh, crowbar on me Right, so why do you reckon? No, that, that's why I reckon it didn't work. Um, okay, I'm going to reset the system and then I'll be back in a sec. Phil in the embarking track wouldn't play nice, so we had to put Phil in a box. But now he does his job properly. We can send him up and down, and hopefully, though I've not witnessed it yet, this will be the ideal spacing for the, uh, the, the breeding. Um, if not, which I will tell you by the end of this glorious day, uh, I'll have to rearrange stuff. Um, if if I think, if I believe correctly, all I have to do is move it up one or two blocks. But yeah, I'll we'll have to play about with that. All right, I'll give you another update when I'm there. It works! This one's going to grow up to be a doctor! Yay! <laughs> right, well, there we go. We know that plan's all good. Um, now, oh, I need to try and pick up the kiddies somehow and transport them to another room to get infected with zombieitis. Hmm. As a proof of concept for the, 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 the outlying plan, I'm just going to uh, expose this young un here to a zombie. Oh, it's not it's not working. Why is it not working? Oh. How, how do we how do we get them to turn zombie village? Ah. <laughs> right. Um I can't believe I wasted that baby in such a rubbish manner. Oh well, best set Phil back to work. Oh, he fell out. Hmm. We have to cut off somewhere fixing that. I also need some way of sending that cart down without me having to uh, fly on up here. Open the door, close the door, push the cart. So I wonder why Phil fell out of the cart. I have to uh, see if I can put some more half slabs up or something. Yeah. No, he's really not happy having it, is he? Hmm. All right. Look, I made a schematic type thing. Um, so th this is basically everything that I want to happen um, in there. Uh, well, up until the fence post that happens in there, the rest happens outside. So the um, the the the, the car uh, comes along, picks up a villager. It doesn't matter which villager it is, it picks up a villager. Um, if I could ask Miss to take the part of the villager. Ooh, right. So it comes across this next bit, and it detects age. Now, because Mrs. Old, she goes this way. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, I need to put a delay or something on there. Well, she should have gone this way, which would have put her over this disembarkment and sent the cart round for another system. If she was a child, like this one, she would have gone over this disembarking bit, which you'll notice is outside the perimeter, where we will expose said child to um, zombies. Uh, creating these itty bitty cute little uh, zombie villager baby things uh, and then whichever route it goes goes just back round and back to start um, now I've got a feeling what I'm actually going to do is put some sort of launcher track here um, because it would be great just to send it off to another building um, but yeah there, there's the basic plan uh, there's going to be some uh, shoehorning to make it work over there but we we will do so. Um, yeah, and hopefully I'll get back to you when it all goes swimmingly well. Well, it had to happen at some point in this episode. I just died. There was a skeleton in my base. I was beating him off. In fact, I was going to use the um, the gravity gun. Unfortunately, I'd managed to pull that bit of glass. I went up to hit him, and for some reason, all the lava fell on my head. But um, over here. You can see the glass that got shot away. Yeah, nice. Uh, well, 
Uh, I'm starting to rebuild all my stock back up. Um, it is a bit disheartening every time it happens, as you can imagine. I think bits like this might have something to do with it. So I'm currently going around putting candles down, getting rid of all these. This is uh, F7, by the way, if you if you didn't know how to uh, find out where mobs could spawn. Yeah, that's, that's a useful little pro tip there, I hope. Um, right, so uh, let's turn that back off. There we go. Uh, so we're working on uh, baby zombie villagers. Well, what I've been working on recently is uh, breeding trees, because you know, I would. Well, to be honest, I want the green woods. They're lovely, um, but all I'm getting at the moment is all this dull, boring stuff. Um, like I know the cherry does a nice pink colour, but I'm not overly fond of pink wood. Um, I, I prefer it when it's all green. The, the more luscious and deep the green, the better. Uh, what I'm actually aiming for, if I remember, is greenwood. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, green heart, maybe? Yes. Green heart wood planks. These are what I'm going for. Look at them. They're great. But this is something that can only be grown in a desert, so I'm going to have to get this going until I've got a decent stock of um, weird trees and then go off not a desert, a jungle. Go off maybe there, up up on that hill. That's all jungle biome up there. Uh, yeah, so uh, two jobs that I intend to take care of right now. Um, make this disembarking track over a hole somewhere around here so that all the baby villagers get dropped down beneath here where I'm going to have uh, zombies held so we can um, work on turning them into baby zombie villagers. And I think this room here is going to become my computer control center because you can see everything you need to see. Well, I'm going to make this a much nicer, much nicer bit of frontage so we can look out, see everything that's happening. Maybe this will be the control panel, this wall here. Yeah, I've not used monitors yet. That's my that's my plan. I'm going to put a massive monitor here, hopefully with some sort of touch screen capability, because I saw that on someone's pl uh, let's play. Um, yeah, well, I'll get back when I actually know what I'm doing, not just being all despondent about my death. Meh. Sixty-nine lines of code and many, many frustrating hours of research later, me and Miss have come up with this little control program. Um, in fact, the, the vast majority of this program is just getting these coloured squares to appear on the monitor. Um, when I say it was frustrating, that was possibly one of the most frustrating things I've ever, I've ever gone through. Um, but let's restart this up and I will show you what it's supposed to do. Uh, first off, like in the new decor, yeah, Miss, Miss worked very hard on this, it was, it was good. Um, Right, so first off, boom, green light shows you it's working, and somewhere, whee, off goes the sorting minecart. He's got a baby, did his job well. Um, when he comes back, I'll turn that back off. There is a bit of a timing issue here. Um, if I get it when he's up there, he gets caught up on the launch track. But, yeah, minor things. Uh, and this side, just for completion, brings up Phil. Uh, you'll notice that Phil's changed clothes. Um, this is because Phil's job is uh, highly perilous when he gets passed through the um, half slab that keeps him in place. Um, so I've had to replace him. I also have some splash potions to keep this guy up, up on full health. I'm going to give him a dispenser or something. Uh, that, that should help. Uh, you'll also notice that we have widened this area off. And look at him, he's so cute in there. Um, I was I was having issues with them coming out and getting stuck on the side. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we made this nice and big. Um, one day, there'll be a zombie in here to eat you. Well, not to eat you, to bite you. Uh, I think what my actual plan will be is I'll pump zombies up here from the outside of the villager hut because I have a small problem with uh, zombies. Um, hoarding around the outside um, so I'll put them there with some maybe some uh, iron gates, iron bars, this is what I mean um, so that the, the babies can run around here but still get close enough to 
be infected. I don't, I don't know whether that will work automatically or whether I'll need to use water to push them together. Um, yeah. So, it's night time. Uh, I'm going to go get some kip after I've just popped this back together. Uh, still a few things to get done here, but I think this project's starting to come together. After a quick sleep, I thought I'd uh, fly over Forest Way and show you this thing that I found out about whilst I was learning about monitors. Um, so, you know, blank canvas, click on it, draws pictures. Uh, it's amazing, right? Absolutely awesome. Um, unfortunately, I haven't found out a way for it to um, auto-save when the, the, it gets unloaded. So at the moment, every time we come back, it's another blank screen. Um, I've managed to get it to load up every time the chunk opens up. Just edited the startup file. But yeah. Um, also with that, I'm afraid it's the wrapping up point, guys. Uh, I'd like to have done a little bit more today, but unfortunately, uh, hardware issues are causing me to have to wrap up here. Uh, hopefully, as soon as I clear this, this out, I'll uh, start again with uh, the village of Zombie Spawner. I need to do the uh, baby exposure. I need to do a door to my uh, computer room, and I need to deal with the zombie horde that um, collects round the outside of the hut. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for joining me for what little adventure we've had so far. Um, I know it's been a heavy going sort of here's me constructing stuff episode, but yeah, you know, it has to happen occasionally. I like to build machines. Uh, I hope to catch you next time where we'll finish up. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.